what I dealt with isn't uh, an ethnicity issue. It's not a cultural issue. I think it's just a human issue. It's not generational. Kids struggle with this. Adults struggle with this. We wonder if it's okay to have permission to see the world better than it is. Happy birthday, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, we're grateful for your legacy and we are indebted to you for your dream, for modeling for the world what a better world could look like. And for me personally, I'm grateful because of the way you have motivated me all through my life because I'm a dreamer, it's my temperament. It is who I am, <laughs> it's the way that God created me and I am grateful that your dream has motivated this dreamer to keep going for it. Of course, there's ongoing questions about what progress we might have made all of these years. Uh, I'm right there with everyone else wondering, is it okay to dream? And is it okay to dream this specific dream, the one that you shared uh, these many years ago? A dream about people coming together and being together and loving one another and rooting for one another, for children to be able to live together in peace and harmony, regardless of their creed or color or background or worldview. And I am wondering the same question that so many are wondering, where is the dream now? But I'm pondering just the encouragement that you have given me over the years as a dreamer. Because it is my experience that dreamers struggle a lot. We are told to stop dreaming. As a matter of fact, that can be used as a euphemism for someone who doesn't have their their head in the game, someone who's always got their mind in the clouds. They're just dreaming. They're not being realistic about life. And I've heard those kinds of phrases, those kinds of sayings for many, many years. And I have struggled with disappointment. I've gotten those looks from people that convinced me that uh, it wasn't safe to dream. I needed to keep my dreams to myself. <laughs> Lower the volume. Come into reality. And yet you, Dr. King, you gave me permission and I'm grateful. What I've dealt with isn't uh, an ethnicity issue. It's not a cultural issue. I think it's just a human issue. It's not generational. Kids struggle with this. Adults struggle with this. We wonder if it's okay 
to have permission to see the world better than it is. Those kinds of people wonder a lot. They ponder a lot. And they need that space. They need that permission to fail. They need those opportunities to take the next step in whatever they're dreaming about. We tend to be the encouragers, but we need encouragement too. We tend to be the ones that think outside of the box, but we need supporters too. We tend to be the ones to make the calls and send the texts and and post the comments to lift people up and to bless others and we need those same things from time to time. And so in the noisiness of this environment behind my house, I just wanted to, to briefly thank you. No matter where you are, no matter where you live, no matter what you're dreaming about, if it's a dream to lift others up, then I'm rooting for you. And I hope that you'll be rooting for me. Thanks for taking this journey.